Dex is a platform developed by Samsung which enables users to use their Samsung devices in desktop mode. It is also available on the latest Samsung Galaxy smartphones and can be used by connecting the phone to the external monitor or TV. But on Samsung tablets like Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, Dex can run natively and is a really useful feature. In Dex mode, you can basically use your tablet in the desktop mode or laptop mode. It is still Android OS and Android apps that are running, but the look changes drastically. It makes you feel like you are using a laptop, which is perfect because you can buy an excellent keyboard cover case made by Samsung itself for Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. The way I see it being super useful is that the Dex mode can be set up and used for the office work and then the Android mode can be used for fun stuff like consuming media and browsing the web. On the other hand, if you plan on using Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra as a laptop, then you can use it in the Dex mode in its entirety. I will explain why. First of all, as I have explained earlier, Dex mode is the desktop equivalent of Android and in the landscape orientation, which is how this tablet should be used, it makes the best use of the screen real estate. This is further aided by the fact that in this position, cameras are placed at the top rather than on the side. Speakers are also very conveniently placed on the left and right edges, providing the best stereo sound experience. Not to mention that the volume and power buttons are placed at the top and are very easily reachable. This however puts the fingerprint scanner on the side, which feels a little weird to use every time you want to unlock the device. But come to think of it, it is the most suitable place for the scanner, even in the landscape orientation. Putting it at the bottom would have been even more awkward and would not be suitable if it is to be used with the keyboard. A lot of these things point to the fact that Samsung intended Tab S8 Ultra to be used in the landscape orientation. And that's where Dex comes in. Apps can be kept on the screen, either in folders or individually, and also in the taskbar at the bottom of the display where you can see the recently used apps as well, apart from the pinned ones. This taskbar works exactly how you would expect it to work on desktop or windows. You can tap to open and then minimize these apps. If you have multiple windows open for a particular app, you will see those here as well. Apps open in windows and can be maximized to full screen. These windows can be resized and their transparency can be changed to see the content behind as well. Multitasking also takes the more traditional form like on a desktop computer. Two apps can be used in a multi-window setup. And this can easily be done by grabbing one app and swiping it to the either edge until it snaps. And then a menu opens up from where a second app can be selected that you want to use. The notification center is at the bottom of the display and is much more compact, which is good because it does not cover the entire display behind it. The same is the case with the quick controls. They are present at the bottom right corner and pop out in a much more compact window without hindering the whole display. The gestures mode of navigation works in the Dex mode as well. Swipe up to go back to home, swipe up and hold for the app switcher and swipe in from the left or right edge of the display to go back. When using with the keyboard, you can mimic these gestures on the trackpad for navigation. This is great because I don't always have to resort to navigation buttons at the bottom left corner of the display when using it without the keyboard. The app drawer can be accessed by a button on the left bottom edge of the display. From here, you can open any app and long pressing will give you the option to uninstall the app add the app to the home screen and open app info. You will notice that there is now a new tab in settings dedicated to the Dex mode. Here you can set it up to launch whenever you will connect the keyboard or when HDMI is detected. You can also connect wirelessly to your TV. Then there are additional settings for changing the wallpaper, font size, keyboard and mouse trackpad. Another thing to notice here is that any setting that is not supported by the Dex mode is disabled and cannot be used in this mode. One thing that I do miss on the Dex mode is the edge panels, which allow quick access to several apps and screenshot features along with some other tools. I have personally been having fun using Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra in Dex mode only, even without the keyboard. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.